Imagine a world where artificial intelligence can create pictures, sounds, and even conversations. This is the world Google aimed to create with its Gemini AI. The dawn of this ambitious project was met with a mix of excitement and anticipation. The technology was designed to revolutionize the way we interact with digital spaces, bringing a new level of interaction and personalization. Gemini AI was launched with the promise of unprecedented capabilities. It was not just about creating images or generating text. It was about creating a seamless interaction between human and machine, blurring the lines between reality and the digital world. Its potential impact on the tech industry was colossal. It promised a future where AI could not only understand our needs, but also predict and adapt to them. The tech world was abuzz with the launch of Gemini AI. The anticipation was palpable. Tech enthusiasts, industry experts, and even the average user were eager to see what Google had up its sleeve. The potential applications of such a sophisticated AI were endless, from enhancing user experience on the web to revolutionizing fields like marketing, entertainment, and even healthcare. But the launch of Gemini AI wasn't just about the technological advancements it promised. It was also about the philosophical questions it raised. How far can we push the boundaries of artificial intelligence? How do we ensure that this technology is used responsibly and ethically? These were questions that Google and indeed the entire tech industry had to grapple with. However, as with any groundbreaking technology, the launch of Gemini was not without its share of controversy. Just as the world was beginning to marvel at the capabilities of Gemini, a storm of controversy began to brew. Indeed, the rollout of Google's Gemini AI was not as smooth as one might have hoped. Prominent figures in the tech world were quick to voice their concerns, and among them were Elon Musk and Nate Silver. Musk, known for his ventures into space travel and electric vehicles, and Silver, a respected statistician and writer, were both critical of Gemini. Allegations of bias and discrimination in the AI's outputs were at the heart of their criticisms. The AI model was accused of generating inaccurate and offensive images, sparking a wave of controversy that Google could not ignore. In response to these accusations, Google made the decision to pause the image generation feature of Gemini. This was a significant move, demonstrating that even the tech giant was not immune to the backlash. It was a clear acknowledgement of the issues raised and a commitment to address them before continuing with the rollout. However, the controversy did not end there. The criticisms and allegations had a tangible impact on Google's parent company, Alphabet. The controversy led to a significant drop in Alphabet's stock price, shaking investor confidence and casting a shadow over the launch of Gemini. But perhaps what was most notable about this controversy was the way it brought to light deeper issues in the world of AI. The allegations of bias and discrimination raise serious ethical questions. How can we ensure that AI technologies like Gemini are fair and unbiased? How can we prevent them from perpetuating harmful stereotypes or misrepresentations? These questions began to surface, prompting a broader discussion about the ethical implications of AI. And so, as the controversy swelled, the world was left to ponder the potential pitfalls of this brave new world of AI. The controversy led to a significant drop in Alphabet stock price and questions about the ethical implications of AI began to surface. In response to the controversy, Google did not remain silent. They took action. As the criticism reached its peak, Google decided to pause the image generation feature of its Gemini AI model. This move was not just a reaction to the backlash, but also a clear recognition of the issues raised. Google understood the ramifications of the alleged biases and inaccuracies, acknowledging that their AI model was falling short of the high standards they had set. The tech giant was quick to apologize for the shortcomings of Gemini, demonstrating a sense of responsibility for the controversial rollout. They didn't just stop at an apology, though. They pledged to address the issues, promising to relaunch the image generation feature once the problems had been rectified. It was a clear commitment to their users and to the ethical use of AI technology. Google's response to the controversy highlighted their understanding of the stakes involved. They knew that the implications of AI technologies are far-reaching, with the potential to shape perceptions and influence decisions. By taking the criticism seriously, they showed their commitment to improving the AI's performance 
and ensuring that their technology is used ethically. They also made it clear that they are not shying away from the challenges that come with pioneering new technology. The controversy surrounding Gemini was a reminder of the complexities of integrating AI into our lives and the potential pitfalls that can arise. Google's willingness to tackle these challenges head-on and their determination to make their AI better is a testament to their commitment to innovation. This isn't the end of the road for Gemini but rather a detour. Google is not backing down. They are taking the criticism as an opportunity to learn, to grow and to make their technology even better. They are showing that they are not just developing AI for the sake of it, but with a clear goal in mind, to create technology that is effective, reliable and ethical. Google's response showed a commitment to ethical AI, but it also highlighted the challenges that come with pioneering new technology. This controversy has been a learning curve not just for Google, but for all of us. It has shown us the importance of ethical AI and the need for continuous improvement in this rapidly evolving field. As we look to the future, we can only hope that the lessons learned from this controversy will lead to better, more ethical AI technologies. So what's next for Google's Gemini AI? Having weathered the storm of controversy, Google's Gemini AI is poised for a comeback. The tech giant isn't just planning a return, it's planning a triumphant one. The image generation feature, which sparked much of the initial criticism, is set for relaunch after comprehensive revisions and improvements. Google has taken the complaints to heart, using them as a roadmap for what needs to change. But this isn't just about one feature or one AI model. The relaunch of Gemini's image generation is a pivotal moment for the broader tech industry. It's a declaration that AI can learn from its mistakes, that it can be refined and improved even when it stumbles. And stumble it did. But now, it's picking itself back up, dusting itself off, and preparing to step back into the ring. However, this isn't just a story of technology, it's a story of ethics, of the responsibilities we hold when we create something as powerful and as potentially transformative as AI. The controversy surrounding Gemini has brought these questions into sharp relief. Can we create AI that respects and understands the nuances of human culture and history? Can we prevent it from replicating the biases and prejudices that exist in our society? Google's actions in the coming weeks and months will be under the microscope. It's not just the tech enthusiasts who will be watching closely, but the world at large. The decisions made now will have far-reaching implications for the future of AI. Will Google's efforts to address the criticisms and improve Gemini's performance be enough? Can they navigate the ethical minefield that is AI development and come out the other side with a product that is both technologically advanced and ethically sound? This is more than just a relaunch. It's a trial by fire, a test of Google's ability to respond to criticism, to learn from its mistakes and to pave the way for the future of AI. As the world watches, the future of Gemini and indeed the future of AI hangs in the balance. As we reflect on the journey of Google's Gemini AI, what lessons can we take away from this saga? In the grand panorama of tech advancement, the Google Gemini incident has painted a vivid, if somewhat cautionary, tale. It's a narrative that began with the promising dawn of a new AI model, a tool designed to generate images with unprecedented accuracy. However, the rollout of Gemini was marred by controversy. Accusations of historical inaccuracies and offensive content gave rise to a storm of criticism from prominent tech figures such as Elon Musk and Nate Silver. This controversy in turn led to a significant drop in Alphabet's stock price further underscoring the high-stakes nature of AI development. Yet, it's important to remember that the story didn't end there. Google responded to the controversy by temporarily pausing the image generation feature of Gemini, demonstrating a willingness to address the issues head-on. Looking forward, we see a future where Gemini AI might emerge stronger and more refined from this ordeal. Google plans to relaunch the image generation feature once the issues have been addressed, signaling their commitment to improvement and responsible AI development. But what does this all mean in the broader context of the tech industry and the ongoing conversation about AI ethics? 
well, it serves as a stark reminder that the development of AI isn't just about pushing the boundaries of technology, it's also about ensuring that these advancements are conducted in a manner that is ethical, responsible, and considerate of the potential consequences. The Google Gemini saga underscores the fact that, in the world of AI, there are no shortcuts. Each step forward must be taken with care, with a keen understanding of the potential implications and a steadfast commitment to addressing any issues that may arise. As we continue to navigate the brave new world of AI, one thing remains clear. The need for ethical, responsible use of this powerful technology is more important than ever.